we inject a, a contrast agent into the, uh, into the veins of a patient uh, and then the next day they come back and have a special MRI scan. Lymph nodes take up this uh, special contrast agent that turns lymph nodes, normal lymph nodes, black. We're able to differentiate between what is a normal looking lymph node and what is a potentially diseased lymph node that contains cancer. This study is about combining the benefits of PSMA PET scanning with this new nano MRI contrast agent. What does that mean? Well, we'll be able to detect lymph nodes with metastases in them much, much smaller than we can at the moment. We'll be able to improve our detection of these lymph nodes so that they can be targeted either by surgical means or by other focal therapies such as radiation. Or we could prevent unnecessary lymph node dissections and that's certainly going to improve the quality of life for a large number of patients. We do find some prostate cancers that will never kill people. So research has shown us it was a randomised trial of men with this low grade prostate cancer we gave 550 men a radical prostatectomy, 550 men radiotherapy, and the other 550 men we didn't treat. We found that they're all alive in 10 years. The other three quarters of men we have to treat because prostate cancer is more common than breast cancer, and it kills more Australian men every year than women die of breast cancer. Can we make men's lives better with robotic surgery? What's the evidence that if you have robotic surgery, you're gonna be doing better than having an operation done by an experienced open surgeon? Once you've had a radical prostatectomy, you've had your surgery, men have to be discharged with a catheter in their penis for a week to let the anastomosis heal. And in the old days, we'd keep men on antibiotics because we'd worried they'd get a urinary tract infection, which can lead to septicemia and a hospital admission. We also worry about the fact that we can develop superbugs by leaving a catheter in and keeping people on antibiotics. We don't know whether we have to give that second antibiotic when we take the catheter out. So this is a trial of all men coming into this hospital to have their catheter removed. One group of men will have an antibiotic at catheter removal and the other group of men will have an injection that's not an antibiotic. What we might find is that men's got bacteria and over four weeks it just goes away by itself. <laughs>